the, in a world of where attention is the scarcity, what does a good curator do? Like, what, what, what's the code of ethics? What, what, are the, what, what is the practice based on? And I haven't really thought a lot about that, but I think there's our, there are a few starting points. One of them is you respect people's time. That's probably the most important one. You respect people's time. You don't waste their time. Right? And you help them save time. They, I often tell my students, the simplest way to create value in journalism is to save the user time. Um, so that's number one. Secondly, good curators are good not because they're world's greatest authority or because they've been certified by somebody, but because they are themselves richly interactive with the people they are curating for. So that would be the second thing. Respect the user's time and interact with the users so you know who you're curating for, right? That person, in other words, has to be very two-way. Um, third is we can use data to help us. So because we have good data about what people actually use that we're putting out, we have to learn how to read that data without becoming enslaved to it, right? So smart uses of the data help us be better curators. 